Hello and welcome to this Tango video tutorial about walking exercises. We will play with different forms of caminatas and lapis combinations and we'll try to realize them with different dynamics. Let's get started. Get some space in front of you, like three meters would be ideal. That we, we will start with two uh, steps and then we will add up maybe three, four. Uh, so have a look, two steps usually you have, maybe you have enough that you can do four, that would be perfect. In music, usually there is something that comes before. We call it anacrusis, the upbeat. In movement, we want to have the same. We don't just like start out of nothing, but there is something that we prepare and after the preparation we go. We prepare and we go. Sometimes the preparation is more noticed that we grow and we go from this expansion. Sometimes we have a, a contraction, a compression before we go and we expand with the first step that we take. For now, I suggest a very simple exercise and you just realize for yourself what are you doing. So whatever you do, do something uh, before and we have two steps, we change the weight and we go back. And feel, okay, am I growing and going from the growing part? Okay, now I'm doing this for example. Am I more compressing and going from this compressing energy into the walk? Something very important to notice is that in tango, we don't move like one step and then another and then another. It would look very weird. Also, when we speak, if every word is newly accentuated, like we group words together to create phrases. And the same is happening with uh, our walks. So if we create a caminata, the first step will have a more thorough preparation than a transition from the first to the second to the third, maybe to the fourth. Um, now, let's make it longer and have three steps. I still try to change the weight. So I have left, right, left and change. And then again, I have left, right, left, and change. Left, right. In this video, I used the change of weight to also have a change of dynamics. With the step, I establish something rhythmical. With the transition, I create something non-rhythmical. And that we can use later also to start with the lapis, but also to play with accents and have different elements. So, um, if we stick to this rule, now we release, for example, and we grow at the end. And we release again, and we grow at the end. To give our caminata of three steps, some inside direction, an inside color. We all have a favorite side for most of the leaders. Uh, it's the left side to start. Now let's take the other one. So I start now with right and I have this and again, right to go back. And I'm Take time to have the first a little bit more conscious or a little bit more delicate. Like I, I melt uh, and then I start to have my steps. I'm doing this without music that you can create your own phrasing. Once we have the music, very often we start 
to just reduce the music to a clear beat. And uh, to be musical actually means to decide what kind of quality you give to the movement. And if you have more the quality of maybe like a predator cat, or if you want to keep it more simple and you have tak, ba, da, or if you have it more simple and you have just uh, relaxed. Or maybe in for one moment you have a little hesitation and you separate the steps. If you do them purpose, brilliant. If it just happens, and if you do it all the time, your partners might get a little bit annoyed by it. Um, let's practice this once on music. <laughs> The song I chose was La Tablada, in the version of Duranas, and uh, it has, when it starts, a quite clear rhythmic structures, and by the time, especially in the B part, it gets a little bit more free. And this is the moment that we could also use to fill the gaps more and to make our walk even more continuous. One element that is perfect for this is the lapis. So, there are the videos that we explain a lapis very thoroughly in detail. We have a forward projection that we take to the side and we create a little circle. For me, it's helpful to think of a quarter of a cake. So it's straight to the side and then I make it egg-shaped back. The motor comes from the center. So my standing leg is creating the upright movement I'm releasing to get to the lateral position and again I start to grow. <sighs> um, one variation can be that we start with the lapis. So we prepare as to walk, but instead of walking we start with the lapis and then follows the walk. The easiest thing is to do the lapis in the same direction as we walk. So if we have the two steps first, we have the lapis and two steps, and again, lapis and two steps. Change of weight, lapis, left, right. Change, right, and again, left. Left, go, change, and right, and go. We could also put the lapis at the end. So when we walk and then we change and then we can have the lapis. Usually we have to do a change of direction because if we arrive, it's more natural to continue with the lapis. But in tango, usually all the possibilities are available and some are more difficult and uh, some are a little bit easier. Today, I suggest that we, if we include the lapis at the end of the caminata, uh, do it in the same direction of our walk. 
copy me, we start one, two, I change, and I start with the lapis, and then I go back. I arrive, and I start with the lapis. If you pay attention, you will see that my lapis starts before the strong beat. So I arrive, this would be the strong beat, and when I do the lapis, I arrive, change, and then have the lapis. So it comes kind of like one, two, change, ah, one, two, change, da. It gives a nice contrast. So on the one hand, the lapis is a non-rhythmical element. On the other hand, I create it to, I use it to create a different flavor of an offbeat. Ah. Let's try this change and explosion of the lapis. Bah. This explosion can be amplified if I do the change of weight with a double time. So I have one, two, and bah. One, two, bah. One, two, bah. One more time, the other. One, two, three, ba. One, two, and. One, slow, three, ba. One, two, ba. Let's do this with music too. Follow your instinct. <laughs> this anacrusis before the two or three step caminata is that the anacrusis is preparing the movement that afterwards it continues. We started to play to establish a different beat, an offbeat, with the lapis. Now to conclude this tutorial we could also play that maybe there is established and the last one is different. Usually this happens without intention. So we start and then we don't continue. So I want to be clear that first it will help your dance to be more clear and to establish a continuous flow. And with this continuous flow you can connect more easily to your partner because what you tell with by the language of your dance gives more sense it's more easy to be understood once you ex established it and you have a very good connection with your partner it might be interesting to surprise your partner from time to time so once we play with okay it's established Maybe I accelerate a little bit. So I start with something more and then I go for the 
double beat. Maybe it will not be a completely exact double beat. You don't need to count that it's one, two, and three. I invite you to just play with having one, and then it's faster, and you make it again to the clear strong beat when you start again the next caminata. Let's try this. So we have intro with the lapis, one, and we have an acceleration. Bam. And one. With these little irregularities, you create the ideal or very interesting moment for the next puente, for the next bridge, for the next transition. So, if I'm a little bit irregular here, I have more time here, which is inspiring, again, a new color. If I'm always like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, lapis, one. My dance becomes very predictable. And with uh, this idea, you give a new flavor. The opposite would be to do stretch one step a little bit. So we can establish one, two, and the last one I take more slow. Or I take it more from the arrival, so I'm already regular, and then I take more time to arrive more time to realize the first step of the new caminata. So I have one caminata completely on the beat, and then there is the first step that doesn't have a clear count. It just has a stretch. That feels very nice. Let's do this. So we need one caminata. Let's do the three-step caminata. One, two, three and change, and you take more time to go. Can be with lapis, can be without. One, two, three, change, and you have this stretch also into the first step. Let's do this with music and play with the acceleration and the slowing down. Mm -hmm. 